Hola, bienvenido a mi canal. Soy Josh y me gusta hacer videos. Hoy quiero explorar Santander y mostrarte lo que es. No sé cómo decir mucho más, entonces disfruta. Yeah, so in case you can't tell, my Spanish is very limited. But yeah, I'm going to explore Santander and show you what it's really like. So I hope you enjoy the video. So our first stop on this little trek is the Palace of Magdalena. Um, I don't really know a lot about it, to be perfectly honest, but it used to be the King's Gaff. So I'll see you when I'm there. And also deep that this is, it, it's, it's December in a few days. Do you know how mad that is? Go on, ladies. You get it, girls. It's right there. It's right there. Basically, what I'm doing is getting as much vlogging in as possible right now because it's early in the morning and no Spanish people are out, so I don't have to go through the embarrassment of vlogging when people are near me. But I've just arrived at Magdalena. Very nice confectionery. Um, it's probably good to know a little bit about the history, but you know, <laughs> that's not me. Also, look at it, look at this glow lion, oof. And welcome to Magdalena. Nah, I'm joking, but it is quite nice, to be fair. I've just realized that um, this side it's probably the front and not the other one. So that's a bit embarrassing. But I'm also very happy that no one's here right now because it means I can vlog with confidence and I just don't care. This is definitely one of my favorite spots in Santander. Just the surroundings with the trees and the big old castle in the background. It's just lovely. And I don't know if you can hear it, but it's like birds chirping in the background. You can hear the waves of the ocean, you know. It's just beautiful. All right, so that is Magdalena done. And uh, on my way out, I've uh, I stumbled onto something that I just did not know was here. It's like a mini little zoo thing. And guess what there is? There's seals in here. Wait, why, why are they in here? Look at this place. It's tiny. Free my guys. Free my guys. Oh, we got some wham ones here. Look at these big boys, eh? This lads, they've been bulking. And this one, um, this one's chilling. So I'm, um, I'm gonna leave that place now because I love watching animals. It's really cool, isn't it? So I don't wanna spend all day there. In case you can't tell, there is no structure to this video whatsoever. So we're gonna see where I end up today. Um, but if you're watching at this point, you better be subscribed. If not, you're, you're, a, you're a bad person. That's right, you're a bad person. We are now at my most frequently visited place in Santander. And that's the beach. Big up Neptune from Percy Jackson and that. Come on. Sorry, but, but what is that? Is that like art or is it like a climbing thing? I really can't tell. To be honest, at this point, um, half of my channel's now videos at the beach, so I'm gonna try and not spend too much time there today. We're gonna explore other places. So I lied, um, I'm heading to a beach, Madalenas. It's my favorite beach in Santander, and I'd, I'd feel bad if I didn't take you there, because it's, it's proper nice. But whilst walking there, I just wanted to discuss something, right? Why is it so scary to vlog? Because realistically, none of these people understand me, and. I'm never gonna see him again, but still talking in front of them. He's very scary. And you know, maybe that's, a, maybe that's a life lesson to take from all this, that confidence is often something that gets in the way of us achieving and being more successful in things we wanna do. I, I'm sure it would be more entertaining if I could shout my head off in public and not care, but unfortunately, that's not the case. But I am getting there with the confidence. Like, I think there's someone walking behind me but I'm still holding my camera, so I'm taking that as a victory today. I, I see this as an absolute win.
I also really should have worn my running shoes because these are not comfortable to walk in for a long time. So we are now at my favorite beach, Madeleines, and I'm sure you can see why. God. So I'm sat here eating my apple, well, about to start eating my apple, and I've spotted a croc. I'm not even joking, there is a croc in Santander. This is crazy. I'm gonna show you one second. There's two crocs. There is two crocs in Santander. This, oh my God, this is crazy. I'm so funny. If people don't subscribe to my channel after that joke, then oh, I don't know how to get subscribers. Well, look at this zoom in the camera. Look at that. They're well far away. That's crazy. God. Does it not look like the Windows loading page? That's all I'm saying. Tengo mucho suerte estar aquí. Tío, es muy bonito. I might start doing that on these vlogs. Just like dropping in a bit of Spanish. Helps me practice, doesn't it? You know, flex that I know about five words in Spanish. So the area I'm currently in is Faro. That's the lighthouse there. Uh, I think I'm gonna stop here and get some lunch. It's only like pretty much 12, but I'm hungry already. I really think going to places like this with amazing views just helps you appreciate what you have, you know? I'm in such a great position where I can just go for a walk for an hour and I see some incredible views. And you can do this at home as well, you know? Even if it's England, just honestly getting outside and Appreciating what's around you is so important, especially if you're struggling with mental health because you could feel so trapped when you're inside all day. But yeah, I'm gonna have my lunch and uh, chill out for a little bit. You know, contemplate. How on earth did they get down there? I mean, just look. It's not an easy place to get to. So now at this point, um, I haven't really planned where I'm going. So I'm just walking in one direction and I'm gonna see where it takes me. But really quick, I just wanted to mention the value of doing things alone. Like, if you know me, you know I have a lot of energy, you know I like to be with people, but also sometimes it's nice to just go out alone. So that's what I'm doing today. Um, I'm doing this all by myself. Maybe I'll see some people later, but the majority of the day I'm gonna be alone and I'm kind of looking forward to it. I mean, obviously, I'm with you guys, you know, my, my pals. So um, I'll let you know when I find somewhere of interest. Currently right now, it's not particularly interesting. It's just a, it's just a path with some fields next to it. So, you know, we'll see. Oh my God, I've made a friend. You right, geezer? What are you saying? What are you saying, my guy? Yeah, say nothing, say nothing. So I'm gonna be completely honest and admit that I am completely lost. I don't even know if I'm in Spain at this point because when I look around, it just looks like the Peak District. So I'm going to continue walking and hopefully find a way back to the city because I feel like that's a little bit more interesting. I'd also like to say that um, I haven't used a map for this entire video because personally I find it more fun not knowing where you're going but it's also kind of uh, screwed me over here because I have no idea how to get back to where I live but you know it's all part of the fun I think one thing that I want people to take from this video is that spending time alone and learning about yourself and appreciating what you have is so important like when I'm walking, when I'm with nature and when I'm alone, you can't do much else other than reflect and appreciate what's around you. When you're only doing things that are so fast paced and so action packed, then it's really difficult to stop 
and to just to just to reflect and to appreciate what you have like right now i'm just so content with my life but not only that is i'm thinking of what i can do in the future and how i can make it even better like i am genuinely so excited about this channel like what i can do what videos i can make and hopefully where I can take it in the future. But also by walking alone, I'm appreciating that I'm gonna have to put in work for that. And I am willing to do it, don't get me wrong, but it's gonna take time. So yeah, if you're feeling particularly lost in your life without a meaning, without a purpose, then I genuinely encourage you to just spend some time on your own. You know, learn to appreciate who you are and what you can do to make your life better. Anyway, my arm's tired from holding up this camera, so I'm gonna keep, keep walking. I'm still very much lost though, so you know, we'll see how this goes. So I, um, I found the sea. Great success! That was absolutely terrible. I apologise for that. I actually just realised like how much of a tourist I must look like, like carrying my phone out everywhere. I've got my little camera bag on me. And, um, and I'm definitely not Spanish. So yeah, I must look like the biggest tourist going. I believe I am close to McDonald's. Um, I haven't been to this area, well, I've been around here once and there's a McDonald's close by. So I'm going to walk around and try and find it because that would bang right now. I love a McDonald's. You know me. If you don't know me, get to know me by subscribing. Nice one. Cheers. Guess what I found? Come on. Right, I have my McDonald's. I don't know why they're making me look fat and giving me two bags. It's literally a, it's literally a McChicken sandwich. And, Look flurry, but you know we move. Um, now I'm going to try and find somewhere to sit, and I'll let you know how uh, Spanish McDonald's is. So I found a nice little spot with my McDonald's, and uh, I'm going to give it a taste. Um, controversial decision here. I'm going to have the McFlurry first. And right, there's reasoning. You know, it's a warm day. I don't want it to melt, and cold chips are okay, but I don't really want milk and whatever is in there to be melted. You know. Right. the same as the English one I'm gonna be honest so um that what is going on with my hair that's the McFlurry done and I'm gonna be honest as I started appreciating the sensations of the taste of that McFlurry I've got to say it was too sweet and that's coming from me I love sweet things so I'm gonna say for McDonald's it's 1-0 England up the boys now uh, I'll, give, I'll give the chips a go or the fries should I say Bit cold. Um, this is me trying to appreciate the sensations. They might be better than England's. They're less salty. There's a bit of a weird aftertaste, I'm gonna be honest. I know no one cares about this. This is literally the most waffle part of this whole video, but it's funny. And here is the main course this is the the biggest part of the meal and uh you know aesthetically it looks all right you know it looks pretty standard for mcdonald's but um let's see how it tastes i'm gonna give it a little uh little munch oh, oh. that's pretty solid gonna be honest might be better We'll see. Oh, I've just finished eating and um, I've got to say the chips, I think, were better. They were less salty and easier to handle. And uh, that leaves it down to the McChicken sandwich. You know, as, as I was tasting it, my palate started to, you know, endorse the flavours, really appreciate the different mixture I'm waffling. It was nicer, I think. Um, that might just be that one. It was a bit nicer, so I think that might be. 2-1 to Spain, however, and this is where I put suspenseful music in, there is one big problem. It was 9 euros, am I a dickhead? I'm not paying 9 euros for McDonald's again. All I got was a meal and a McFlurry. Oh my god, it's a shambles. Never come to Spain, don't go. Pointless. McDonald's is 9 euros. I'm fuming. I have a confession to make, uh, I lied to you, I am going surfing today. 
Come on. So uh, I'll see you for sunset, but for a while I'm going to be surfing. So I'll see you then. Midway through surfing, I completely forgot that uh, I haven't actually done the outro yet. So this is what this is. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you can take anything away, just remember that going for walks by yourself and you know, having some alone time doesn't have to be a depressing thing. You know, you can just use it as a way of self-reflecting and having a relaxing time. Anyway, I'm gonna continue surfing because it's quite fun. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye, te quiero. Look at that, that's just pretty cool, isn't it? So as I'm laying here, you know, just chilling out, got my candle, got my candle lit here, which smells amazing by the way. I thought, oh yeah, how many steps have I done today? So, quick live reveal of how many steps. I have done, ooh, 36,352 steps today. That's quite a lot of steps. Anyway, I'm absolutely shad, so I'm just gonna go to sleep now. But again, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I will see you soon. Please subscribe because if I make it and you're subscribed from when I'm on like 150, you can flex that, do you know what I mean? Anyway, I'll see you later. Goodbye. <laughs>